You are listening to CFI. Today's project is changing the original headlights in my 63 Avanti. I didn't do that when I originally refurbished the car. Didn't think I'd be driving it at night. That, that changed. So I've taken out the regular uh, original equipment bulb, which is a 6012 uh, unit, which has a very low lumen count of about, or 11, about 1,100. And I'm going to replace these with some halogen replacement bulbs. Now, the halogen replacement bulbs have the same shape as this uh, 6012, but in the back, instead of everything sealed inside of glass, it's been cut out, it's a metal back, and you have a replaceable H4 or uh, halogen bulb. Now, these can be bought for two and four light systems, and you've got to make sure if you're going to do this, you get the right set. Okay, let's go take a look at the uh, packaging of the uh, new units. Okay, here we have the packaging that I got from uh, Summit Racing. These can be bought at a very large range of prices. Here we have two headlamps. Pull one out. We can see that it has the same shape as the 6012. Regular 7-inch sealed beam. Only the back now has a rubber grommet on it. And if we take that off, we can see that it has the uh, H4 bulb built right into it. And of course it is replaceable. Let me just put that back on and this will pop right into the car. Now when you buy these, you got to be careful. Your car has electrical requirements. In these older cars like the Studebaker, the electricity is run through the regulator to a bus from the bus to the switch and from the switch directly to the lights. No relay in between, which means there's a lot of wire to go and heat up as you pull amperage. If you get a unit that pulls more amperage than your car can handle, you're going to have a fire problem. And there are kits to handle this that include relays and fuses. Now, since this unit is only going to pull a total with both lamps of 1.7 amps more than I have uh, originally, uh, my system is not going to be overtaxed. I've already measured the wire and it can certainly handle the extra 1.7 amps. Uh, most units may or may not be able to do that. So if you're going to do this, make sure you size the unit for what you're going to do or plan to upgrade your electrical distribution. I'm going to upgrade mine, but luckily I can do it in steps. So, get these two bulbs out and take them over to the car. We're back at the car. Here is the bulb that's going in. We have the other one out. Same socket, same bulb end. This installation is really hard. Plug it in, put it in place as we see, it fits perfectly. Put on the bezel and the job is pretty much finished. Because the original lens face and the new lens face has a slightly different Fresnel, I'm going to check the alignment pattern to make sure it's correct. Don't want to be blinding anybody at night. So when that job is all done, I'm going to show you the difference between the old lights and the new lights. The difference between pre and post installation appearance is negligible. The before and after high beam operational effects are huge. The capture settings for the camera is identical for both exposures. The H4 headlamps provide broader and more intense illumination. A drive test reveals greatly improved road visibility. The H4 units have a flatter face and a different refraction property than the original equipment, requiring significant realignment. 
A red car at night might just as well be black, so changing the headlights really does nothing for the visual appeal of my Avanti. On the other hand, the view from the inside is far brighter and makes for safer night driving.